Day two of the engine break-in, and if you have to go at full power for four hours, why not go somewhere fun? Marathon Key, Florida. This has been on my list for a while now, and this was the perfect reason to go. We had to continue the break-in procedure for another six hours, and we decided to eat at the coolest place we could go to. So the approach to Marathon Key is about as easy as you can get. You can't miss it from the air. Coming down from the north, make sure you are talking to Miami Approach. There is a lot of traffic going up and down the Keys, which may mean a lot of weekend pilots and student pilots, so keep focused. The approach is easy and fun, so have a look. Terminal 2 Alpha 2, westbound on the taxiway Marathon. Marathon traffic, Cardinal 2 from McQueen, he is turning left base for uh, runway 7, Marathon. Marathon traffic, Cessna 20050, uh, about 13 miles north, inbound landing runway 7, Marathon. Alright, flaps 5. Marathon traffic, Cessna 1222, Bravo, clear the active runway 7. Marathon traffic, Cardinal 2 from Frankie is on a left base for runway 7 Marathon. Okay, it's good. Got plenty of runway. Mixer's full rich, carb heat is on. I'm going to put one, a little more notch of flaps out. We may come in a little fast just because of the gusty winds. Yeah, we got it. Oh, they're, they're very gusty, actually. You see them on the water. Marathon traffic, Cardinal 221 Frankie is turning final runway 7, Marathon. Oh, these houses down here are beautiful. Coming in right, nice. Airspeed's good. Little gusty. Not my best, however, for air. There are tons of restaurants down here and I'm sure they're all awesome. We went to the Island Fish Company, which had the best yellow-tailed snapper I have had in a while, and I mean, this was fresh, just a few hours old, and it was just amazing. The staff at the airport was awesome. One thing though, fuel is expensive at self-serve. It was $6 a gallon, and there's a 10 gallon minimum, or they will charge you a $20 fee. So depending on the type of airplane you fly, you may be better off. Now when you are leaving, keep density altitude in mind. I did not use any flaps on takeoff because the runway was 5,000 feet and I figured I had plenty of space. I reached 70, rotated, and watch what happened. Oh, he's off the runway. Yeah, oh, okay. He's going straight out. Marathon traffic, Cardinal 2214. 2214 Yankee is departing runway 7. <laughs> Marathon. Follow the ball. Oh my gosh, I got too excited there, didn't I? Just a All little. right. Just a little. There's a right crosswind. Got it. OK. 
4,000 feet remaining and 48 power is we're at 2350 RPM, 67 and 72. We are almost up. There we go. Density altitude. Yep. Density altitude, yeah, it's a 1,500 feet. She didn't rotate until 75. Marathon Trail, Citation 8 0 Juliet Hotel, 10 miles east of the field inbound marathon. The runway being 5,000 feet long does not get you out of adjusting for density altitude. It was only 85 degrees, so I can imagine what it would be like on a hot summer day. All in all, this was an awesome reason to go burn up 39 gallons of fuel for day two of the engine break-in. So, I hope you do this trip. It is purely awesome. And remember, if you are over 50, get up and get in the air. Thanks for watching.